Jesus welcomes the children. Book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 13 through 15. Some people brought children to Jesus for him to place his hands on them and pray for them. But the disciples scolded the people. Jesus said, Let the children come to me and do not stop them, because the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. He placed his hands on them and blessed them. The Early Childhood Catechetical Board of the Los Angeles Archdiocese believes that one of the essential parts of building a solid faith foundation in young children is to introduce children to pray and play. Those experiences that allow them to live and grow up with positive images of God and the church family. Our mission is to continue to spread the word of God's infinite love by sharing the wonder and beauty of God's wonderful world. The board strives to serve the needs of the Archdiocese by teaching catechists to develop appropriate lessons in faith formation for ages 3, 4, and 5, while providing them with hands-on training and inspiration to implement their own parish programs. Young children can grow in faith in a Sunday school setting that allows them to laugh and play, but especially to move around and create. Welcome to the Religious Education Congress. My name is Jan Pedroza, and I'm the coordinator of Early Childhood Faith Formation for the Los Angeles Archdiocese. Early Childhood Faith Formation was founded by Sister Mary Irene Flanagan in the early 1970s. She gathered a group of grandmothers, fathers, mothers, and other people who loved young children and began early childhood specialization workshops. These workshops continue today in our nearly 300 parishes throughout the Archdiocese and we offer them geographically so that all parish communities can benefit from this training. The Early Childhood Board consists of 20 dedicated volunteers who are parents, teachers, grandparents, and working professionals. They give of their time generously to ensure that faith formation is spread throughout the parish communities. We share life lessons through teachable moments, the beauty of a butterfly, the smell of a flower, the taste of an apple, the ocean waves at our feet. In early childhood faith formation, we help young children explore their world in class as well as in their own backyard. Catechists provide children with hands-on experiences to explore God's wonderful world. As with any ministry in your parish, it's important to cooperate with all of parish staff, your parish priests, and volunteer catechists. And as a coordinator, understanding that each catechist brings their own God-given talents and gifts to the ministry in which they're being called. And so it's important to respect those diversities and remain mindful that we are many parts but one body and that's the body of Christ and that remaining mindful that this is for his glory and his purpose. Early childhood catechesis is very unique and specific and you must keep in mind that each child develops at his or her, her own rate. Therefore, developmentally appropriate activities is essential and a priority when planning their lessons. Um, that's why it's essential for you to attend the Early Childhood Catechesis uh, workshops so that you can uh, gain the knowledge on the three, four, and five-year-old child and what is considered appropriate and the best practices and how we can catechize them. Uh, one of the reasons I became involved in early childhood was I firmly believe that it is a support for a true effort towards lifelong faith formation. Early childhood bridges the gap between those children that have completed the sacrament of baptism and those that are preparing for first, re first reconciliation and, and communion. And early childhood can help that, can support that and is a beautiful introduction to our faith for children as well as their families. And more so for families, it helps our parents to go and be able to attend Mass. One of our retired board members, Betty, 
used to always tell me that she loved to do storytelling. She was a professional kindergarten teacher for almost 50 years, and she loved to collect all these beautiful books that she gave to teachers to use within the classroom. And she said that if she could only teach one lesson to children, if she only had one chance, that she would tell them how much God loves them and how much God cares about all of the special things that happen in our lives every day. This is our job to continue that legacy in each parish to make sure that no child is forgotten and that every child from birth all the way till age seven understands how much we love them. As a catechist, we understand that children need to hear their parents talking about God in their everyday life. We often hear from kindergartners who will say that the only time they pray at home is when guests come over or when something really bad happens. This can happen for all of us. We always need to be reminded that when we pray and when we play, they can happen simultaneously. This is a wonderful tool that we give all of our children when they attend our programs. And it's a philosophy that is part of our faith formation curriculum. Let us pray and let us play together. When doing a spontaneous prayer, you can always stop whatever it is you're doing in the classroom and get the children to pray with you, say, Dear God, please help Samantha make better choices or help her feel better. Amen. As a coordinator, when it comes to recruiting catechists, and maybe a catechist is going through the discerning still, they're not quite sure, they don't have a lot of experience with children, and they're still kind of deciding about it. One of the strategies that I use for that new coming catechist is I would pair them up with a seasoned catechist, a more experienced catechist, and they'll team teach for at least a year so that they can learn from you know the models of the catechist and, and kind of break in a little bit and get their feet wet. And then it also helps them to gain that honest, you know, discernment about themselves and maybe gain their own, you know, styles of how they would go about teaching a class. Because I remember with our own children, it's like, oh, I get to go to Mass. Um, and that was really an incredible experience. And then afterwards being able to talk to the kids and say, well, what did you do? You know, what did you learn about God today? And what craft did you do? And just seeing the smiles on their face. Uh, it was an inspiration for me to become a volunteer in early childhood education, seeing our daughter go through that program and the joy that she experienced and the positive impact that those catechists made on her life. To this day, uh, the seeds that are planted, that were planted in her life, uh, continue to blossom and grow, and, and I've seen a lot of evidence about uh, the, that impact. Moreover, uh, in my own faith formation and when I became a catechist, I have seen children that I worked with grow in their faith, they become volunteers at Vacation Bible School, and it just, um, it's positive not only for the children, but also for the catechists on their life, on their own faith journey, on their own faith growth, and it's just a life-affirming experience. Our curriculum is faith-based. The earliest memories of God are instilled in children by their parents. All lessons and practices of faith should begin in the home. Parents need support to expand their knowledge of teaching children about loving, sharing, caring, and helping each other in everyday life. If you feel called to volunteer in early childhood ministry, please contact the Director of Religious Education in your local parish. We welcome you to join us. The board provides resources to revitalize an existing childhood program. Our specialization series can show you new and existing ways to invigorate and enrich your early childhood program. I see God playing with us. I see God praying with us. I see God leading us, loving us, holding us together. He gives us unconditional love and we in turn show love to one another.